Rafty. Are you quite comfortable? After coyote hunting? Did we look for coyotes? Huh? Yeah. Hi everybody. Well, I am really happy to announce today that we have another member of the fleet that has shown up here. Austin. There he is. And uh, he's going to be nice enough to let us get a peek at his truck. And we're going to see if Lefty can maintain composure. Right, Lefty? Yeah. We'll see what happens. So we're going to get a look at his truck. So First thing, Austin, can you tell us what is the truck? It is similar to yours. It's a 1999 Ford 7.3 liter diesel Power Stroke. So it's a, it's an E450 1999 with a 7.3. Yep. Best engine ever made. Ever made. Right? Everybody knows that. How long have you had it? I have had it for, on the 18th, it'll be seven months. Okay. And I moved in on day two. On day two? Yep. Started living in it. Mm -hmm. Do you live in it full time? Full time. Okay. So you're a young guy, right? Mm -hmm. Approximately 26. 26 years old. January 6th was my birthday. Okay. So wow. Birthday in the van. Yeah. The you got a 30 year jump on me. Good for you. Well, thank you. <laughs> so you, you've had it seven months. You started living in it right away. Okay, one of the things I like to kind of pick people's brains for is how did you find the truck and if you want to share how much you ended up paying for it. Oh, hi, buddy. Uh, so for 10 years, I've had the dream of buying an ambulance. Oh, this is so fun, hanging out with Lefty. Aren't you allergic to dogs? Oh, uh, just a little bit, it's okay. Do you want me to get him off of oh, you? Oh, he's fine. <laughs> I got allergy pills. This is too fun. I So for 10 years, I've had the dream of buying an ambulance and I've been searching Craigslist, Facebook Market, RV Traders, everything you could think of. And finally on Facebook Market one day, the ideal ambulance popped up. Mm -hmm. And within the seven hours of the post being on, I said, I'm gonna buy it. Jumped on it. Jumped on it. So Facebook Marketplace. That was the place to go. Outstanding. And you know, the, uh, the checklist had to be made for me to drive anywhere to go look at it. Mm -hmm. And this one checked it off truck and everything first of all I was looking for the engine the compartments went second headroom was third and uh price they wanted around seven and ended up paying five for it was super thankful for that good nice um we drove four hours down to fairfield ohio and straight from a place where they used it as an ambulance mm -hmm. and they already knew to take the inverter out which was was a disappointment i but don't know why that's so common that seems to happen to a lot of folks mm-hmm I was going to put a bigger one in anyways, yeah, which yeah. I've been following. But still, you could sell the one that was in there. True. Yeah. They took off the price for that anyway, so I was thankful I didn't have to try and sell Oh, good. It. Good. But I ended up following the Campulance man's videos and putting in the ah! Ames, Ames power inverter and the solar power and the batteries you'll see are exactly like mm -hmm. the big truck back there. Very nice. So you had a little bit of, <clears throat> you had a little cheat sheet on what you were going to do then. Oh. That's good. So when you bought the truck, you ended up paying five for it. How many miles were on it? 168,000. 168,000. Yeah. Okay. Barely broken in, they say. And so since you've had it, how many miles have you put on it roughly, do you know? Uh, almost 10,000. Okay. And what issue, what, what kind of mechanical things have you had to do to it? Within the last month was the first time I've had any truck problems. And I put the first seven or 8,000 on in Michigan and just had an issue where the glow plugs went out and one went out and then very quickly after the seven other ones went out so you you replaced the glow plugs all eight myself and you, yeah you did that yourself mm -hmm. so is that a job that you would recommend that people can do themselves oh yeah okay very easy there are a lot of youtube videos that i've watched uh i read a lot of articles i don't read a lot but this was very important that i read mm -hmm. through ford manufacturers and mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. Very simple. And there's how many? There's five glow plugs in total? Uh, eight of them. Yeah, four I was on each just side. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Wish there were like five of them. So $18 times eight. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, I mean. So $140, $146. Mm -hmm. 
priceless to now have the reliability of starting whenever I want. So it does start yeah. readily in the morning now? Right away. Good, so you fixed it. Yeah. Outstanding. What major systems have you installed in the truck? So I'm talking like heating, air conditioning, solar systems, water systems. What, which of those do you have? Uh, first was water. I did that in the first two months. Uh, 20, five gallon water tank with a foot pump so it's off grid no power for that there's a five kilowatt diesel heater and the same solar system you have the six panels the rich solar i think they're the 190 watt panels and then four 12 volt renogy batteries and then the same charge controller from the solar panels so you have four 100 amp hour mm -hmm. batteries and what what uh, type are they they're the Renogy 12 volt 100 amp hours. Uh, gel, gel, AGM, yeah. gel. So one thing I wanted to point out while um, we're waiting for Austin, this is uh, just a little bit of a different box design that I've seen before. The roof line, if you can tell, the roof line actually bows up in the middle. This is not a flat roof ambulance. So that's a little bit different than, than the rigs I usually see. And another thing that I did notice, there was just something on the side view that just looked a little different to me. And then I finally placed it. It doesn't have the um, the rain channel that runs all around the top, you know, like four inches down from the top. The side clearance lights, it doesn't have. So it just looked different. And that's that's what I figured out makes it look different like that. So a little bit of a unique box. And you said the box manufacturer is? Braun. Braun. Yeah. Okay. Got to remove the insulation, but for freezing temperatures in Denver, Colorado, this worked out perfect. This is just one inch uh, foam board. I think it was like 30 bucks. And I've used the whole square. You know, it comes in like a four by eight sheet. So in each each door, there's like a little bit, and it like kind of bumps out just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So tell us what you got going on in this cabinet. So it's a super simple system. I'm cheap and lazy, so I wanted to do something quick and make it easy and not have to use any power. So my water system, the 25 gallon tank is ran through a, like one of those little whale pumps and it goes inside. So it's a foot pump. And then I got just a hose connector here, just like your truck, except I got four of these batteries. Mm -hmm. Works great. I got the Victron battery shunt. But so how many gallons was your water tank? 25. 25. And then this is your gray water mm -hmm. uh, bucket tank right there. Mm -hmm. So you have a sink that you installed inside? Yes, I do. That flows down into that bucket? It was actually a uh, cake lid. So it came with like a glass plate that you'd put your cake on. And then the lid that went over top, I turned that into my sink. Oh, just okay. Just drilled a hole in the bottom and then... There's a vanity drain that I just it slides right through the bottom and you screw a nut on. Yeah. Two O-rings. Yeah. And then the uh, aspirator pump, if you look right here in the back corner, I actually repurposed it by flipping it over and then running the tubes into my gray water tank. So now I can dump it out by just flipping a switch inside the ambulance. That was the original vacuum pump mm -hmm. there? Yeah. Interesting. It's only failed on me once, but I think I had a little piece of uh, broccoli that got stuck in it. <laughs> Super simple. Broccoli will part. get you every time. <laughs> Gotta eat your greens, don't throw them away. All right, and then in your tall cabinet over here, this is where you've got your your inverter and your charge controller. And those you said are the same, the, the units that I have in my truck. Mm -hmm. Yep, very good. Yeah, fun one. Got my standing, you know, man mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Did you polish that or did it look like that when you got it? Oh, it looked like that. Oh, you're lucky. This door is usually locked just because personal items, but the other one with the fire extinguisher, I usually leave unlocked just in case. And then around the other side, so you've got a bike hitch carrier that you put on? Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. This uh, actually just lays down. Yeah. Yeah. And then I can open up both back doors. Mm-hmm. And you put that trailer hitch on? Yeah, I did that myself. Okay. I went to U-Haul, but because of the diamond plate stopping there, they were gonna put the hitch six inches back. And I knew that it would be too far back for this yeah. and you know my regular trailer hitch, yeah. cause I sail Hobie cats. So I went to my uncle's shop, shout out to Fiddler Furniture. We cut that all out. They helped me out and even let me take the tools. And the hitch that you used, was it one of those universal type? Uh, 
yeah, it was uh, specifically meant for this frame, but it's the uh, the knockdown, so it's not the super heavy duty one that oh, you I can put on these. That yeah. one weighs about 400 pounds. But this is the uh, the toy cabinet for all the camping needs, mm -hmm. and this is the fun one because this is the before video right now because this is going to be my indoor outdoor shower conversion. Okay, I'm yeah, thinking about doing. And when I get to San Diego, you can already see the oxygen tube sticking out mm -hmm. of my mm -hmm. disgusting wire look. Uh, we'll run another tube attached to that and then have a shower head here for temporary use. Um, where is your, your diesel heater installed? It's uh, right here inside underneath my bed. Okay. And just like yours, you know, have it running outside there and then the fuel line runs into the back okay. apartment. Okay, yeah. Well, it's good that you got the fuel tank inside out of the sunlight because I think I ran into a lot of trouble because of the, the heating and cooling um, from the sun condensation. I used to see water in the filter. Two crank batteries are on a nice little shelf. And did you have to replace those or were they still good when you got the truck? Still good when I got them. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. I had them tested at AutoZone. Uh -huh. What's fun is my refrigerator right here. If I have it turned facing us, I can access it from in this cabinet or from the inside. Mm -hmm. And your refrigerator, you said your refrigerator is an AC refrigerator. That's correct. So you run your inverter 24 hours a day. Um, sometimes I'll turn it off. Uh, like right now it's really packed, so I'll keep it on. All right, so let's see. So just uh, to recap on the solar, you put, you've got six 190 watt rich solar panels. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, and to protect them, I made uh, wind windshields. Uh, might be able to set a point. Yeah, those are uh, repurposed uh, drawers from the inside. And two spare tires on a pretty standard looking luggage rack you put on there? Mm -hmm. You can get them at Walmart. Got to check Facebook Market. Excellent. Oh yeah, you said you only paid like 20 bucks for that rack? 25, 25 yeah. bucks. And he threw in a Colorado flag, so I got two Whew. things for the price of one. Double down. Oh yeah, you can you can see the uh, the crown of the roof on the panels right there. So your panels are actually a little bit tilted on the sides, yeah. which actually isn't a bad thing, you know? Go ahead and pop the door. Let's see what you got. Come on in. Stay right there, buddy. Ah, I see why the roof is like this. I can stand straight up. Very nice. So you've added some countertops, I see. Oh well, yeah. Nice. I myself with my girlfriend. She's uh, she's the one that worked at Lowe's, so she helped me out with the polyurethane. Do your dome lights work? Your yes, overhead lights, pop them on for us. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I have extra light if you need like an LED light. Oh, that should be okay. Butane stove? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I use that one inside and then I'll turn on like the uh, the outdoor fan just to blow out the air. So you left the original flooring and put a carpet down, is that right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I didn't really want to screw with this yet just because it's like glued down. Yeah. I've seen some videos, it's just, yeah. once you do it, then you got to put something else down. Yeah. And this was in my room growing up, so I thought it was fun to have bring a little piece of home. Very nice. So the other than the sink and the stove systems in here, you got the diesel heater, obviously, mm -hmm. refrigerator. You added the bed. Mm -hmm. Looks comfortable. So I don't see a big screen TV in here. No. Not a priority? Not a priority for okay. it. Yep. I do have a 40 inch at home and you know, <laughs> during quarantine played enough video games and stuff that I was like, you yeah. know. Hey, hey, be quiet. Don't ruin another video. Yeah, I'm talking to you. In really cold temperatures, I run this tube from this vent that I put on. Mm -hmm. And then depending on how hot it gets, you know, this is when it's really blowing hot. Mm -hmm. And when it's really cold, I'll extend this into my water compartment and it'll heat that compartment, keep my water from freezing. Okay. Very smart idea I had. So you're going into sub freezing temperatures regularly? Not regularly, 
But um, I knew going through Colorado, I was going to have an issue. And they got a huge winter storm right when I got there. And it got down to, I don't know, like negative 10 one night. Mm -hmm. And water freezed up immediately. The negative 10 Fahrenheit? Open. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What what uh, was your diesel heater doing? It didn't like the altitude or? Yeah, so I had it wired where it was just grounded to the back where the original wiring So you was. chassis grounded it? Yeah. Yeah. And it just was hey, dropping hey. voltage. <laughs> it dropped enough voltage where I believe it shot the ignition flame portion of it. So sometimes it would start, but then it would turn off over time, mm -hmm. or then it just stopped turning on. Got this cupboard open. I think he moved it open. He did, yeah. I saw him. Oh, so it's got fluorescent lights that run down the side there. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. They're super bright and nice, but... I'll bet they are. With my batteries, they chew up a lot of power. Uh, well, I appreciate you letting us see your rig here. So you're, you're full-time in it, 26 years old, paid five grand, put some glow plugs in it, and you're living the dream. Is that about got it? Oh, yeah. And <laughs> the dream is met when I put that sticker on, that's for sure. Ah, I appreciate that. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, by the way, um, anybody that comes to visit me in person, you do get a free sticker. So talk about an incentive program. All right, well, we're going to get out of your hair here. Lefty's getting very anxious. No, don't even think about jumping up on his bed. Thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Thank you, Austin. You're welcome. We appreciate it. Everybody take care. We'll see you really soon.